We're here with Montijo Madness. This is game week 30, and we have a huge, huge game coming up for this title push, and we need to get the points out of it. So, without further ado, let's go into the game. All right, we got five games left, and this is one of them. Montijo versus Sequemos. Uh, we're going to be hosting La Union. And let me just introduce you to the starting 11 for this game. Bernabe, Madrigal, Javi Chino comes in because of a suspension uh, of red yellow card, a yellow card accumulation for Cardozo. So Javi Chino comes in. Anibo Martinez. Batanero Kundul comes in uh, due to that shift around. Pozo shifts over to the right side. Yet I still in the middle. Aqua on the left. Catala up top. Uh, on the bench here, you see Sergio Tenza, Tenza is still... Uh, a little bit ways from the fitness requirements. So Ezra Rodriguez is still in, on the bench. Machado, Rodao, Baragan, Ibra drops to the bench. Cristo, and then Rio. So let's submit this team. Um, yeah, I am definitely nervous. I'm not going to lie. Uh, nope. Dressing room. All right, they kind of like that. Seemed a little happier, seemed pleased. There we go. Okay, we got a little bit of reaction there. Sequemos, one of their uh, big guys. Barahona. Ubis is the main striker. He's definitely the danger up top. He gets the most goals for them. Let's try and make this happen here. Let's try and make this a win. We need it. Cardozo's out. Javi Chino's in. Pozo shifts to the right side or to the right wing and uh, Kundul comes into the middle. Man, Abraham Pozo, I got to be honest, another one that uh, is so shocking. He's so, so critical for us. I'm just so, he always pops up in the biggest moments for us. That can't be understated. Batanero. It's headed away. Race for it. Ubis wins it. And it's now foot race now. Madrigal trying to catch up. Martinez closes him down to at least stop the impetus. Toboso. Yelike. Delgado. Alvarez. Oh, Delgado. Blocked it, but it's Ubis. He hits it down, and it's off target. Okay. Let's... All right, Batanero hits it. Ooh! Is it a corner? It looks like a corner, yeah. Got a hand to it. Unlikely opportunity, but Batanero is able to do that. And uh, no, it doesn't. Not a win there. Oh, can do a bad touch. Barahona takes it back. Nope. Nothing there. Let's do demand more. Yeah. Okay. The front. The front likes that. The attacking side there. They haven't really committed, or they have. They've had one opportunity really, and that was at the very beginning. But uh, nothing else. Pozo. He's an inside forward, remember, so this is not what he wants to do. He wants to hook onto that other side. Martinez. Batanero. Yeri. Kunduel. Hits it, and Nieves holds onto it. Decent little shot, but, you know, nothing too, uh, too dangerous, honestly. Oh, steals it. Can duel. Pozo. And he's able to get it to Aqua. Heads it down. It's back to Kundul. Lays it off to Martinez. Hits it. And it's over the bar. That was a good play, though. I like the interlinking passes. Uh, Kundul was definitely the major, uh, you know, factor in that play. Uh oh, ball through. It's Ubis. Oh, it's cleared away by Chino. Thank you.
I am a little bit worried about Javi Chino, but uh, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can worry about it. It's kind of is what it is right now. Cardozo's out. He's suspended. He's not playing. But I think it's better now that he gets that, that suspension in this game than the next uh, gauntlet of games against, like, the immediate rivals, you know. Madrigal also has a uh, potential yellow card suspension if he gets a, a yellow for accumulation. Pozo gets another run in. Draws it back to Yedai. Takes a shot, blocked, and it's out for a corner. If I'm honest, I think maybe I should switch around. Javi Chino is usually the uh, the main man to get. Ooh, Chino over the bar. He doesn't really have a great jumping reach. Let's uh, swap this. All right, Sequamos have got a little bit of possession here. They give it off to Delgado. Oh, he tries to get him on the outside of the foot. Batanero can't hold on to it. Barahona, oh, it's open. Open net, man. That was dangerous. Yeah, 0.46 on that XG attempt. I'll take nil-nil at half. Oh, that's a, ye that's a yellow and a red. There it is. Yep, Badahana gets taken off too. Oh, that's huge. Tony Fernandez comes on for Badahana, which is, I mean, he he's a big supplier for goals. It's headed away. It's Gideon Aqua. Kundul. Oh, Toboso takes it away. They're telling me Toboso in the... Uh, oh, my God. You, no way. Ubis takes a shot. It's kind of wild. It, it goes nowhere. They're doing a little bit of pressing from the front. I, I find that very interesting considering they're down, man. Martinez. Martinez, what the... F are you kidding me? Delgado. Delgado. Headed away by Anibo. Gideon Aqua. Laid off by Madrigal. Lays it back off to Aqua. Use your pace. All right, dinks it forward into the middle. It's Yedai. Ter what is are those touches, dude? It's Martinez. Anibo. All over the top, it's Catala. Ooh, right at the goalkeeper. Right at him. I'll go in at half, nil nil. I'll, I'll do that. But I'm going to come out swinging for the second half. I'm going to really jack up these players. Oh my God, no way. This has to be a goal. Pepe Delgado. Okay, we're going to close that man down because he's clearly the danger man here. Okay, well... Yeah, I'm just going to yell at him. Um... Man, uh, what do I do? What do I do? We cannot be blowing it like this. We cannot be blowing it like this. This is what I'm talking about. This is <laughs> this is, the last two games. It feels like the game is like, all right, you've had your fun. It's time to stop dreaming. And come back to reality, start losing and drawing games that you probably should.
Like, how did they get better with a man down? Pozo. Lays it off, Martinez. Martinez. Nope. Can't get around him. Does get it in. Kunduel. Yes! 1-1. One, one. Amadou Kunduel. He starts the game. He's been making impact bench appearances for most of this campaign, and he scores a huge goal to level it. There we go, baby. Amadou Kundul. The minute before we go into half, they score. The minute after half, we score. That's what I'm talking about when I say let's blitz right out of uh, halftime. Aqua gets it right around to Boso. It goes into Katala. It's back to Aqua. Oh, my God. That was, that should have been a goal. Pozo. Oh, and he couldn't lay it off to Aqua. We're feeling up for it. We're going for it. Aqua tries to get it in, but Toboso heads it away. Madrigal. Kundul. Batanero. Jedi hits it, and it's over. Badahan's on his left, yeah? Yep. Has he even scored yet? Two goals, two assists. Okay, Badagan has has done it before. He's been there. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Yep. They're still, like, jacked up. Demand more. Mm, Iber Keita. It's right only. I literally can never, ever, ever remember. Come on, guys. We're going very attacking now. Um, yeah, Javi Chino is going to come off. Ruben Machado is coming in because throw him up on an attacking side. Should we put Ryo on? Hmm. Let's try that. Should we put Ryo on? Should I put Cristo on? Flip it like that. Cristo, we're on the left side. He's a right footer. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's put Keita on up top. Kundul. Madrigal. Dinks it in. <clears throat> Baragan. Oh. Nieves able to get it. Encourage the team. We've got to push for the 2-1. Puts it in. It's Madrigal. Oh, my God. He can't hit it hard enough. It's Nieves able to save it again. Lays it off. Madrigal. Cristo. It's blocked shot. Who was that? Al Casar. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ibriketa puts it in. Rodale unable to get on head. Baragan 
bad touch and Sue clears it. Another highlight. Kundul. Just blocked by Deboso and it's booted away. Sequemos just don't care. They want to hold on to the point. Madrigal. Puts it in. Oh, it's headed away. It's headed down. Cristo and it's off the side netting. I'm going to put Julian Martinez on the attacking duty as well. I don't know if it'll do anything, but we need we need a goal. I don't care how late it is. Ball over the top. Sue handles it, levels it to Nieves, and he just hoofs it to the other side of the field. Rodal heads it away, and it's 1-1. That's devastating. Three draws in a row. Atletico Madrid B drop another stinker. And uh, it is not looking good for them for their title push and playoff hopes. The fact of the matter is that they needed three points to really continue their pursuit for the title. They lost to Sequamos last week, and now they draw to a really poor Leganes B team and will be needing some more firepower in the coming weeks. An expected win for Atletico Paso. They get two over now relegated mathematically Alcorcón B team. New signing Bautista in the 27th minute. And then Aridon Santana uh, gets a header in the 77th. Cernanola were able to defeat a really poor Guadalajara side. They just did not show up. Body was able to score an absolute great little dinked finish from 18 yards out at 55 minutes in. Dario Garcia gets a red at 67th minute. And then the finishing blow, Kata getting a 90, 90th minute winner. And Don Benito at home to Dio Cassano and really needed this victory. Lolo Pavon puts it ahead at 24 minutes. However, they're unable to hold on to it for that for long. Uh, Guerrero for Dio Cassano is able to put one home after poor defensive buildup in the back. And that's it. And Malia walk away this game week with a win. 3-1 over Naval Canero. Uh, they were... They're now with this win more or less safe. Uh, they're not mathematically stay. They're not mathematically there yet, but they've created a big, big fat gap for them uh, after this victory here. Danny Garcia with a great header early on, two minutes in, and then Pata uh, responding three minutes later, uh, five minutes into the game. Uh, we went into halftime one one, but Alberto Martin was able to score off a corner. Uh, and then finally, Danny Garcia capitalizes on a really terrible uh, clearance from the Navacanero defense and seals the victory. Estepona lose big against Adardave in a 1-0. Albert wins it off a set play in 79 minutes. Los Villanos come back from 1-0 down to win 2-1 after Klaus sees penalty in the 60th minute. And then Higo Rocha. His uh, hot form continues on with two goals here and is able to get one off a header. It was a beautiful, beautiful little cross in from Ohemang. And then 75 minutes in, is able to put the screws to Casareño and stop their winning run finally after many months of winning. Segoviano were able to get themselves a crucial three points over Coria at home. Llorente converting a spot kick 11 minutes in and Acuna getting a header from a set play 26 minutes in. But uh, bad clearances almost jeopardized their win. Uh, and Nane slotting it home a minute after halftime. But they still were able to hold on uh, and keep hopes alive. Here is the table uh, after 30 games played. Uh, you can see that there is now a new table topper. It is Atletico Paso, 53 points. Uh, I have now dropped down to second uh, on 52 points, and Dominito at 50, right behind me after their draw with Dio Cassano. Estepona also lost this week, so they're at 49 points, uh, you know, in, in fourth place. And then the last playoff place, Atletico Madrid B at 49 points, and Casareño having finally lost, honestly. Um, in sixth at 47. Unable to crack the fifth place uh, measure there, which is interesting. They're two points back now, and 
Um, if they had won, they would have been on 50 points, and I would probably consider them maybe potential title contenders, which would have been shocking considering they were a uh, midweek, like middle of the season relegation potential team. But that's not the case. Vino Vens get their win over Casadeño and now are at 46 points, so they're on a real outside chance to possibly get in there for the last playoff spot. Cordia, 45 points, uh, really has now been cut adrift, I would say, and now looks like they're going to be just a uh, top half team. Uh, Darve, also a potential top half team, I'd probably say. At worst, they're going to be like 10th place. Uh, Sequemos, uh, also 9th or 10th, that's about it. Malia have now created real distance between them and the drop, now with six points left in the last four games. Naval Canero, 37 uh, points. So they got four points above, and they're sitting pretty at the moment, but they only got four games left. Dio Cassano and Segoviana at 33 points, tied on either side of the drop zone. Cut off. Guadalajara at 32. They've dropped two spots now with that loss to Serdanola. Leganes still alive at 29 points. Uh, they have four points from safety. And then Serdanola uh, now five points uh, between them and safety. So, and Alcorcon, the first team to be relegated, uh, yeah, it, it looked that way for quite a while. If you look at their form table now, it's basically all losses. Um, you know, their best run of form was the first three games of the season, and basically, uh, you could probably consider this their best month, honestly. It's definitely the most amount of points they ever got in a month, um, so we might as well just take that. The big win they got, 6-1 over Guadalajara. That still is probably the most shocking result I've ever seen in this game so far, considering how bad they were all season. Um, yeah, so they're done. They're gone. They're done and dusted. So let's, uh, you know, let's look real quick. Let's just go dive into uh, kind of the scheduling for the last four games here, because I think it's important to see, you know, we got four games left, um, you know, and we are looking at the title playoff spots we're going to be looking at you know uh the relegation as well so let's let's just kind of look at here atletico paso let's see what their last four games here they got certainola which should be basically like a free win there atletico madrid tough game particularly away sequemos okay and cordia so you got two mid-table teams not fighting for anything the last games of the season that's a pretty favorable schedule for the last four myself uh, i think we went over this earlier i got probably the f- hardest one don benito away Casareño at home, Atletico at Madrid home, and Estepona away. Don Benito, uh, they got myself away at Alcorcón, which is, you should be getting three points off them no matter what. Cordia, a uh, team that has nothing to play for, uh, and then Atletico Madrid B, which is which is a difficult team at the end of that. Estepona, this is kind of, I would say, uh, Estepona, Atletico Madrid B, um, they're four points from... They're four points from the title, so I think they got one more game week to decide whether or not they're in the title race or not. Um, they're really on the outside track. At four points with four games left, it's, it's kind of difficult. Atletico Madrid B, Segoviana, Casareño, and Montijo. That's a okay run. It's okay. Um, not great, though, for Estepona. Atletico Madrid B. Oops. Uh, Estepona, Paso, Montijo, Benito. That's very difficult. That is basically the same thing as mine. Uh, like a super difficult, uh, super difficult schedule there. Casareño, what can they do for for the playoff push? Alcorcón, that should be a free win, particularly at home. Then they're against me. That's a difficult game for both of us. Uh, Espon, the same thing. And Sequemos, another team that doesn't really have anything to play for at the end of the season. Last team we're going to look at, Vienna Vens. They have an outside chance for the playoffs. Do they have anything that is... Decent. Dio Casano, Malia, Navo Canero. They have a pretty good schedule. They got a pretty good. Cerniola is easy. Dio Casano should be easy. They're just relegation teams. Malia, Navo Canero. Like these two teams don't really have anything to play for for now. Navo Canero is again out, really outside chance for them to actually get dragged into the uh, relegation zone unless these teams around here start winning all of a sudden. But yeah, let's jump down here. Let's go to Navo Canero and then go down uh, below. So. These guys, Guadalajara, oh, yeah, it's going to be decided whether Naval Carnero is going to be in a relegation zone or not. Not Guadalajara and Sergio, these first two games, they, we'll know whether they're part of the fight or not. 
like immediately. And then Vienna Vens and then Darve, the last two goal, uh, two games. So they got a decent schedule there. Dio Cassano, this is a huge one. Uh, Vienna Vens, okay, not great. Dar- These are two teams that don't care. This team basically doesn't care, Malia. Uh, and then Segoviana at home. Ooh. If they can keep, if, if this if this is within striking distance, like that game is going to be absolutely electric. Yeah, and then Segoviana, <laughs> Segoviana uh, Squamos, Estepona, and Alcacone. That's this is a decent one. It's like medium, hard, like and then should be beatable teams right here. Uh, Guadalajara, how are they going to do? Navo Carnero, Coria, Leganes, and Malia. Um, not great. They're not taking on like top top teams. Coria is eighth. You know they're uh, they. I'd say they're they're a tough team, but I mean eleventh, sixteenth, and twelfth. I mean you should be you should be getting points, Guadalajara, but you're in a bad run of form. So. All right, Legan SB, what do they got? Correa, Sequamos, Guadalajara, and Alcacone. Yeah, if they could survive these two games without getting, like, the drum beat here, they, they have a potential to pick up six points, you know, against a relegation-threatened team that's right there with them, and then Alcacone, you know, that that's, this is, uh yeah, they, they have an opportunity here. Sardinola, oh, difficult, difficult game next. This honestly might relegate them. This next game, uh, Naval Carnero, uh, that's not an easy game either. Yeah, they got like t- three mid-table teams just right in a row. Uh, yeah, and if they don't win over certain Yola or Naval Carnero, it's 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 over. Uh, matches again. Let's just round it off with the matches here. Malia at home to Adarve. Uh, these are two teams that I think it's kind of a dead rubber game. If I'm honest, um, I'll still give you like a little bit of highlights, but uh, I don't think that that it will matter that much. Uh, because these two, I mean, they're safe from relegation. They got finally pushed out from the playoff uh, promotion spot. So Estepona at home to Madrid B. This is a big, big one. Uh, fourth v. Fifth. Casareño at home to Atletico Madrid B. This should be an easy three points for Casareño potentially to get into that playoff spot. Nava Carnero in Guadalajara. This basically determines, one, is, is Nava Carnero actually going to have to worry about relegation? That's one. Two, Guadalajara. They need points immediately. They're two points. They're they are sliding into relegation. They were safe for a bit from a uh, a little you know a little decent run right here, right? And then now it's just gone all pear shaped. And now they've only been able to get two draws from six. And uh, yeah, it's they weren't able to create enough distance with those wins. Uh, Cordia at home to Leganes B. Again, Cordia they're done now. They kind of got pushed out of the playoff picture. They have a real outside chance of possibly doing it. Uh, Leganes need wins immediately. So that, that'll be a difficult game, I think, for both. Uh, Leganes B has been really, really garbage lately. So they might not. They might not. But, again, here's the thing. It's like draw, draw. They beat Don Benita out of nowhere. Uh, was that game even good? Like, yeah, they just showed up and just dominated Don Benito. I don't understand it. I don't get it, but it happened. Um Okay, then Dio Cassano at home to Vienna Vens. Yeah, Dio Cassano. <sighs> Vienna Vens, outside chance for playoff push. Dio Cassano uh, needs points for relegation battle. Dominito, and yeah, my game is big and it's scary. So third v. second. Sequamos at home to Segoviana. Again, Sequamos, are, they're safe. Uh, they're seven points out from the relegation spot. They're basically safe. Segoviana need points immediately. They're on the road. Uh, against La Union, so that'll be a nice, nice game. And then finally, Atletico Paso at home to Sardinola. This should be an easy three points for Atletico Paso. This is a very favorable game late on. Uh, so that is for game week 31. This is the... Vi- there we are going right to the wire now. This is crazy. We got a good relegation battle between uh, one, two, three teams, realistically, Leganes and certain Leganes has an outside chance of coming up and Nava Carnero has an outside chance of getting dragged in. We have a, t- a genuine title race. It's a three horse race right now but with myself included in there. And we got two that are in the outside track trying to pull in. Uh, and then for the playoff push, I mean, you got all five of us plus probably another one. Uh, so it's probably got six teams all doing for the playoff push. Vienna events has the outside track to get in there as well. Um, we are going right into this, uh, and then you know we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, man, we got we got three games left to play, 
So, Jack City, Montijo Madness, and this is the one season wonder. Thank you.